Hello, I'm Adam Barrelay and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring cleansing your crystals with the full moon. Now, what is your favourite way to cleanse your crystals? What I find with most people is they have a favourite way and the full moon is one of those. So what happens? You notice it's a full moon, you gather up all your crystals, you take them outside, hope the neighbours aren't watching you and thinking that you're weird, leave them out there over the night and then bring them back in the morning. Now, I want you to think of the full moon's energy. How does it make you feel? It's peaceful, it's meditative, it's contemplative, it's very feminine, it's very yin in its energy, very magical in that way. And then I want you to think about some of your other crystals. Think about your fiery crystals, like your rubies, your carnelians and so on. Well, you know, they're really, they have a really yang energy, a really fiery go-getter energy. And putting them out under that soft and gentle full moon is like me taking my parents out for a nice night, going night clubbing until 3 a.m. It doesn't exactly resonate. So what I would really encourage you to do is look at the energy of each crystal. And remember that putting crystals out in nature is a really beautiful way to cleanse them. It's starting to rain on me right now and that would be a really great way to cleanse water crystals. Think of your Larimer or your Aquamarine or your Planchiite, all those bluish kind of crystals. Either that or taking them down to a stream or an ocean. You may want to use sunstone and imperial topaz and fire, those kind of sunny ones, put them out under the sun. Grounding ones like smoky quartz or black tourmaline, place them on the earth. And I've got a whole series of videos. In fact, it was some of the very first videos I did in on my channel about cleansing using the different elements, the sun and the moon. So I'm not saying don't put all your crystals out under the full moon, but what I'd do is I'd put those magical ones, mainly your white, your clear, and your violet ones, moonstones, phenakites, damburites, uh, selenites, all those different types of ones, as well as your amethysts, sugulites, and charites. So when it comes to cleansing crystals through the full moon, just put the ones that you've been using the last month or so, or any that you're gonna be using in the month to come. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Check out the other ones that talk about how to cleanse different crystals using the different elements of nature. I'm gonna get inside before we get far too wet. I'm Adam Barrelate of Crystal Connections. Blessed be.